hi everyone welcome back to my channel well this is peace and today we are making cassava we are cooking a meal called katogo it's a mixture of cassava and beans sometimes we mix it with greens or any other sauce that we want but most of the times it's cooked with cassava and beans so it's what we are making today so right here we've put our beans already they are the ones we need for this recipe we'll let them boil as we are peeling these beans are for this season so they don't take long to get ready right here is our cassava go ahead and peel I love beans is the highly eaten sauce in our country yeah, so we have beans all the time it's something you can't it's something that you can rarely take a week without having so the way we make potatoes and beans is different from how we make cassava and beans this one is bad actually let's leave that one so some people make this katogo for breakfast then others use it as food especially lunch because cassava is a carbohydrate so it gives energy so people have it for lunch i'll just clean up this place So right now this is our cassava. I always first wash it in this water. Then I change it to the second saucepan. That's where I start slicing it from. You just get your cassava and take off this top layer. Just divide it and you get small slices. So you just cut it into small slices. All right, now our cassava is finished. So you just get your sliced cassava and start cutting into small pieces like that. Some people cut it uniform but mine is never uniform. Some are smaller, others are bigger but it's still okay, it comes to the same thing. You just keep on repeating the same thing until you're done with all your cassava this food is very common in many village homesteads children like it adults like it so it's an easy to go to thing because it doesn't even consume a lot of time preparing as long as you're done filling your cassava and boiling the beans it's so easy to prepare So this is our cassava, we are done slicing it, that's how it should be, I'll just go ahead and check on the beans to see if they are ready, then we start. Right now our beans are ready, it's time for cooking. Right here is everything we shall need to make our food, chili, chili is something I don't miss out almost in anything. The rest are the usual stuff, carrot, tomatoes, there are no bell peppers, that's why I'm using this type of pepper, it's not bitter. But
Ahora sí, por favor, ya ven. Ahí te va a caer tu auto. Then right now I'll go ahead and pour our drink. Just like that. I'll just add a little water. Because this food is good when it still has some soup. So that's enough. I'll just cover and let it boil. 20 to 30 minutes are enough for this meal and we'll be ready to eat. Right now our food is ready. It's serving time. You can see how the cassava is looking like. And it's good that for when it still has some soup in it. So it's the best time of the day and it's eating time. So it's good when it has some soup like this. When you let it dry so much, it kind of chokes you. So when you're cooking, you leave some soup in it. It's hot. I love making my carrots as big as this. I prefer this size to the very small ones. Because these ones don't easily dissolve in the soup or whatever you're cooking but the small ones dissolve quickly so I always leave mine at this size thank you so much for watching please if you're new here subscribe to my channel like the video share leave me a comment I'll be glad to hear from you see you in the next one bye bye